Hi, I'm Katie Main with Cincy Entertainment, and we are at Go Bananas Comedy Club tonight with the I very. You see that in the camera. Anyway, go ahead, do your intro. <laughs> I won't interrupt. This isn't Thank about you. Me. It's not about you. It's about me, Ryan. Thanks. We are here with Ryan Stout, the very hilarious and witty comedian. True. The very true. That wasn't a question, but I'll just agree. I, I agree with you. <laughs> so, um, Ryan, do you always wear a suit every time you do stand up? Uh, probably not every time, but I like to. You know, this is like church, everybody. I think that's that's the thing. You want to come out. You want to have a theater type experience and tap into your ethics and. Uh, you know, it's not about drinking and drugs and going home and getting laid. This is about learning about ourselves. <laughs> it really is. It's a very, very classy show. Very refined. Right, very, right. very proper here, Ryan. Right. Very refined show about gynecology and uh, death. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I think most of our viewers are probably dying to know um, how you got started in comedy. Um, I got started the way a lot of people get started. Uh, you just start you just start the you stuff. Just, <laughs> you really, you really, you go to like an open mic and you see people doing it and then you realize, oh, if I'm going to get on stage, I should probably write some things down. So I have things to say. And then eventually you go up and do the open mic and you say things and uh, some of them work and some of them don't. And then you go back and you write more things and you just repeat that until eventually you're working and running around the world and talking to people. You make it sound very easy, but I'm sure it's oh, it, it's not that. It is easy. Uh, you just have to do a lot of work to make it easy. That's all. You just have to, you know, write every single day and get on stage every single night. And then eventually, if you're smart enough, you kind of figure out how to work things out. And then you have a career. Wow. Which is with everything, right? I guess so. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> you work at it. I mean, how, how hard could it be? Exactly. So uh, you do some hosting, you do yeah. obviously stand-up. Which, which do you enjoy? Which is more your passion? Uh, I started stand-up just to do stand-up. I mean, that's the whole thing for me. I only do television so that people will see me and come out and see me do stand-up. That's the only goal. I mean, television's awful. I mean, there's, there's very little happening on TV, that, except for this. I mean, this is probably like people are learning things. They're learning about me. This is more like PBS, <laughs> like we're... We're here to educate ourselves about the world. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, a sitcom that's bland and the same jokes that have been happening since 1982. No, of course um, not. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I gladly do this. But, again, I'm doing this to get people to come out and see me do stand-up. Yeah. Exactly. So is this your first time to Ohio? No, I was born in Cleveland. I mean, I'm, I'm from Ohio, but I grew up in Texas. And uh, this is my second time at this club. I had a great time last time, so I decided to come back. Yeah. We're, we're glad to have you here. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. This, pl this place has a great reputation. Like, comics, I fought to get in here for years before I finally <laughs> got in. Really, honestly. Like, I don't think people are, are knowledgeable about the comics that are out there who aren't necessarily famous. Mm -hmm. And this is where they come. Like, this is where big name, like, not quite famous talent is coming to, like, do shows. It's this, this club. I love it here. So you're not, not quite famous, but almost. No, not, not at all. I mean, how many people out there know who I am? Really? Yeah. A lot of people. Four people are like, I might have seen him on something. Didn't he? Well, I think we saw you on Chelsea uh, lately, probably. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But what's weird is, like, <laughs> people see me on there and then don't. I, I run into people. They're like, I, I watch that show all the time. I've never seen you. I'm like, really? I was on two weeks ago. You were? Okay. Thanks for paying attention. Good for you. I've done stand-up shows where the host like brings me up as uh, you've seen him on Chelsea lately, and here he is, Ryan Stout. And then after the show, I'm talking to people as they leave, and people are like, "You know, we love Chelsea lately. Do you think you'll ever do that show?" <laughs> okay. Well, that's gotta feel good. <laughs> really, America, you're paying attention. That's that's what's important. <laughs> so you're here this weekend at Go Bananas, and you're gonna do anything else in the city, or what? Are, what's your plans? Um, there's, there's talk about, uh, drinking. There's talk about, uh, that's what you people do here, right? It is. Yeah. Sports and drinking. Uh-huh. Um, I, I'm not into sports. I think sports is just a power struggle, and I get that from reading poetry. So, uh. <laughs> Deep. <laughs> it's a very serious show, by the way, everybody. Um, I don't know. We heard something about an aquarium. I don't know how great this aquarium is. There is a Newport Aquarium, yeah, awesome. just on the well, other side of the river. That'll happen. We heard something about Gutman. What else do we hear about? Just the aquarium. Just the aquarium is the only thing anybody's talking about. Here. And chili. 
Some Skyline sort of, Chili. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the only thing the we've even... <laughs> <laughs> if if the public has suggestions for what we should do, please go to ryanstout.com, email me. How about that? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Ryan. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good time. You too. Ryan, do us a favor.